Hey, I'm Pastor Vandercook. Welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. Uh, sorry for the kind of odd lighting in this room. I'm making this video from the uh, from the den at my house because I, I didn't get around to making the video in my office today. So um, looking at today, Psalm 119 verses 113 to 120. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your promise, that I may live. And let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up, that I may be safe, and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalmist starts out with the words here, I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. The double-minded, those who... Um, want to be counted as righteous, but don't want to actually be righteous. Uh, they, they don't want to actually follow what God's law says. Uh, he hates people like that. The psalmist hates that. Um, and, you know, he goes on, really a lot of this, these opening parts are talking about uh, the association that, that the, the psalmist has with evildoers, those who don't want to keep the law of God. And the important thing we can take from this is that it really does matter who we associate with. Uh, oftentimes we like to think, well, you know, it, it's good for us to, um, to be a good witness to those who do not follow God's law. And that's true. There is some truth to that, that uh, if, if a person doesn't know what God's word says, then, well, they need to know what God's word says. But at some point, uh, people who do not have regard for the word of God uh, can become a hindrance to us. And that's what the psalmist means here by verse 115. Depart from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Because sometimes the company that we keep can lead us to not keep the commandments of God and can make it difficult for us to keep the commandments of God. And so we do have to be careful with uh, those who we associate with that we associate with people that are not going to prevent us from keeping the law of God, but rather who are going to be an encouragement to us to live as God's people. Verse 117, Hold me up that I may be safe, and have regard for your statutes continually. Hold me up, and indeed the Lord does hold us up. Uh, he holds us up in the forgiveness of sins won by Jesus Christ our Savior, and he keeps us safe in that regard. And because... Of course, we have been redeemed by Christ. That's what gives us the desire to do what God's word says, to live as his people. And, you know, at the end here, uh, verse 120, My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. We often talk about, of course, the first commandment. Uh, we should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Um, and sometimes I think we kind of write off that word fear as just being kind of an idea of, of, of respect, which is true, it is that. But there is also a sense of fear, like being afraid. Uh, we ought to be afraid of the punishment for which God may render to us uh, because of our sin. At the same time, we know that we have been forgiven of that sin because of Christ's death and resurrection. But yet we still know that God hates sin. We know that he punishes sin, and so we fear him. We're afraid of his judgments. We're afraid of doing wrong because we know that it's wrong to do wrong. So do what's right. Follow God's word. Um, that's the proper response that a Christian ought to have as one who has been forgiven of their sins, is that we ought to desire to keep the word of God, uh, to keep his law, to do what his law says. Uh, and so we always want to make sure that uh, our desire is not to do wicked, but rather it's to do good. Um, and we know that that desire is put in our heart uh, by God uh, because he has converted us and made us his children. Pray God's blessings on you this week, and we'll see you next week on Mondays in the Psalter.